Hello, this is Yosef Schreiber coming to you from the land of Israel. This week's Torah reading is Parshish Vayera, and it is um, the Parsha in which Yitzchak Avinu is born. And um, the prophecy that Avraham will have a son who will be called Yitzchak is actually towards the end of last week's Parsha. Lech Lecha. And um, when Avraham is told that he is going to have a son, and it's believed to be within a year, his reaction is laughter. And the reason he laughs is because he is extremely happy. And what makes him actually laugh is the fact that he is going to be a hundred years old and his wife will be 90 when they are going to have a child. And he says, who would think that a couple that is so old will have a child? The idea is that it is the um, laughter that comes from both joy and from amazement. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Avraham to um, name the boy Yitzchak. Now Yitzchak literally means he will live. It's the language of Tzchok, which is laughter. Okay? Um, there are also other parts of the prophecy, uh, specifically that a sign of the bris between Avraham and his children and his descendants is going to be a circumcision. Um, and another um, point is that, uh, this is made later on from, from Sarah, is that uh, Yitzchak is called Ben Zikunav, the son of his old age. Um, the idea of circumcision is an idea of um, sensitivity and refinement as opposed to someone who is uh, crude and primitive, the word aril, which is, uh, means uh, uncircumcised, is a pejorative. Okay. Uh, when Sarah actually gives birth, um, she also laughs and says, who would think that Sarah would be nursing a child for, uh, for Abraham, or the a woman of 90? And um, the commentary is right that it's, uh, the idea of the skok is an idea of simcha, of joy, of happiness. Um, and it's the uh, commentary, Rashi says, on that day, many women who were barren gave birth to children. Many people who were, were sick were healed. And uh, many prayers were answered. Meaning that all of these things are also... Um, aspects of laughter. Uh, but you also have within the Parsha laughter um, from a, with a negative standpoint. When the um, strangers visit Avraham and say that next year uh, Sarah will be with a child and Sarah uh, no longer ha ha has had bodily changes or her body isn't as young as it used to and behaving like a woman. And uh, she lives derisively. She is, 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 thinks to herself, you know, after I've gone without, will I be, will I be rejuvenated? Uh, it's the idea of a laughter that is rooted in derision. You also have a laughter that's... Um, uh, rooted in mockery, which is uh, when um, Yitzchak is weaned, Avram has a party, and um, Sarah sees um, uh, Yishmael. The term used is mitzachek. Uh, it's again, it's the lotion of tzchok. Uh, it often means playing, 
but in this case it more means joking okay and the commentaries explain what was the joke that um, Sarah who had been uh, snatched by Avi Melech for uh, for a little bit of time uh, they say that really Avi Melech is the father of Yitzchak and that was the joke and Yishmael was repeating it and laughing about it himself uh, at a very be it, inappropriate time inappropriate very much in and of itself but it's the laughter of mocking and um, it's the also the laughter of um, Hillel Hashem desecration of God's name in the um, and Rashi brings the commentary that laughter uh joking is often associated with idolatry adultery and murder violence um, so what we see is that laughter has both an, a uh, good and evil side to it. Um, uh, uh, the uh, letter Kuf, according to the Sefer Yitzira, is the letter that rules over laughter. And uh, Kuf has uh, two aspects of it that are often mentioned. One is it's the first letter in Kadosh, meaning sacred. So one per, through laughter and happiness and joy, a person can, uh, can a- achieve Kadusha. It's also the, the word, actually is the same word as Kuf, uh, a monkey. I mean, a guy becomes a gorilla or an ape, okay? Chattering like a chimpanzee or a baboon or a hyena. That's the evil side of laughter. Um, Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsburg in his book The Anatomy of the Soul discusses um, the various letters in a Kabbalistic term and he says that really uh, Oneg again the idea of uh, happiness the idea of joy is associated with the um, ish, the uh, sphere of Keter the, the crown okay? and the crown is where a person's soul, so to speak, is attached to his source in heaven. And it, he brings two levels of the crown. One is called um, Atik Yomin, Ancient of Days. And he says that is the joy that just comes from simple faith. And he says the next level is called Erech Anfin, literally the long countenance. And that has three aspects of joy. It has the joy of, in, of the intellect, learning something new, the joy of midos, of good character, uh, essentially the joy of, uh, of being kind, of, uh, that, uh, the joy of the emotions. And the um, third one is the um, joy of speech, you know, uh, pro, very beautiful prose, poetry, uh, eloquent song. And, and it is through the aspect of, of laughter and through the aspect of Yitzchak that we are able to join ourselves to our Father who is in heaven. They they anarachit belish makadisha kadisha yakira anamar tushbakan. They anarachit they anarachit belish makadisha kadisha yakira anamar tushbakan. Yehe Ra'ava Kadamach Vesiv Takli Bowi Bo Raisa Vesashli Mishalim Dalibai Baliba the Chal Amach Yisrael Latavu Chayim Lashalom Amen